what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. And we're here with the nationally syndicated and ever so stylish film critic, Ryan J. Double bow tie. Double bow tie it today. that kind of day, isn't it? That is cool. <laughs> I, I like, like that. It. Thank you so Very much. Very cute. Uh-huh. All right, so let's break down the movies. I want to go to a movie tonight, and I want to know which one to see. So I want to know if any of these are good, because we've seen tons and tons and tons of commercials for blockers, rated R. Right, and this is an R-rated comedy, which usually means there's more leeway for laughs. Yes. When it can be a little bit racier. But this one, I did not LOL during, and Aww. it's one where the teens are actually much more mature than the adults, played by Aww. Leslie Mann and John Cena, who I like very much, but didn't love in this one. <sighs> didn't love. Okay, so um, you said you didn't LOL, which is right. a problem if it's a comedy. Mm -hmm. um, the characters, you liked some of them. Did you think they worked? I like the kids, but it's, they're too one note. You know, the film is about parents who are trying to block their daughters from losing their virginity on prom night. A noble cause, if ever there <laughs> was one, right? Yes. But that premise doesn't really play well for the duration of the film. You know, it, it just, that's really all the movie's about. And I feel like after 30 minutes I mean how there's so much shenanigans and it doesn't really sustain two hours just you know going after that and oh, so really did you like it. anything yeah I did like the kids I think the kids are, are very good and, and I like John Cena and Leslie Mann. that the girl the blonde girl there is actually the daughter Reese, that uh, Reese Witherspoon's daughter from HBO's Big Little Lies so it's fun okay her okay on the big screen um, and I think and, you know, it's okay. I feel like if you want to check it out for yourself. Also, we had Game Night, which was out recently. That Love Jason Game Night. So brilliant so as a comedy. So funny. That this one is like not one you have to see in the theater. This okay. is one to stream. I'd okay. Say. okay. So stream, stream it. it. Mm -hmm. All right. What about A Quiet Place? This is a new horror classic. Ooh. Tiffany, I know you don't love horror movies. No, but it's PG-13. It's PG-13, and this is one to see. I loved it. It's written, directed by, and starring John Krasinski and his real-life wife, Emily Blunt. It is so rare that we get A-list stars okay. starring and headlining a, a horror film. It just doesn't happen for that genre. You know? Yeah, how, how scary, scary yeah. is it? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's scary. I was holding my breath. I was clutching the armrest. Then there I'm not seeing it. Oh, come on. <laughs> that is so brilliant. It's like M. Night Shyamalan. On signs. Never. Quiet. There's great sound editing, sound mixing, sound design. It's quiet, but they're still communicating. You totally know what's going on. But there are moments during this movie where in my head I was just thinking, no, no. <gasps> no oh, no, no. okay. Wow. Well, if they're married in real life, are they, do they have good chemistry on Amazing. camera? Because yeah. I feel like that's a given then. You know, you Should can, be anyway, you can right? tell that John loves her through the lens of this camera. Aww. Just to see her in this film. They're amazing. And the children cast in this film are so sensitive and brilliant and emotional and it's such a great cast such a great script so beautifully really? shot there are some shots that almost look like Spielberg had filmed it it's the kind of movie I could have watched again as soon as it ended no, really he's I don't I I, I, I thought I saw his face. He's from The Office. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. what I thought. Okay. So has and the he, Hollers. Remember the Hollers? Yeah. That was the other movie he directed that we loved. So okay. So has so he done uh, horror before? No. This is his first time. Doing okay. Horror, okay. And Interesting. It's so so good. Like I kind of feel like what can he do next? Maybe he's, he's going to genre hop. He's a brilliant director, brilliant actor. See it. It's scary because kids are in it too. Yeah. I oh, hate kids so in scary good. movies. I know. So, so uh, it's a yeah. Perfect horror film. Okay. okay. Does PG thirteen just mean there's no blood? In horror, um, yes, that well, PG thirteen tends to mean no blood, okay. um, in, in as a, as a rule. But there's some um, non graphic redness <laughs> in, this, in this movie. Oh. That's a good way I, to say. I don't okay. like to do spoilers. Yeah. So, you know. Okay. Okay. All right. Good to know. The next one, um, Foxtrot, rated R. This was Israel's submission for consideration for best foreign language feature at the Oscars. It did not get nominated. It's okay. in Hebrew with sub, uh, English subtitles, and it's about an Israeli soldier who makes a mistake and his family's involved. It's very dramatic mm. that way, um, and uh, I hated it. Oh, oh you <laughs> hated it! <laughs> and what about really? Yeah, it's horrible. You tend to give foreign language films a little, you know, up every now and then. I love. You think they're well, worth it. You know, any movie if I, if it's a good story and I'm engaged, you know, I, I, I'll. I'll recommend it. This movie seemed to like miscommunicate with the audience. It's very awkward. It's annoyingly non-linear. The cinematography is experimental. The timing oh. is slow and and strange. It jumps tone. Sometimes it's a musical. Sometimes it's what? an animated film. And it 
is a serious drama. It's one of the saddest movies I've ever seen. So there, you know, we see this. It uses That's the, cool. It uses the foxtrot dance as a metaphor for life's certainty, and it didn't hit for me. Huh. Oh, that's weird. It sounds weird. Did you feel like walking out? You know, this is a movie where I did think about walking out. <laughs> really? I wanted to walk out halfway through, and then when it ended, I regretted that I didn't walk out. Oh. oh. So skip it. Okay, skip it. Wow. Don't waste your time on Foxtrot. Just take uh, ballroom dance lessons instead or something. I don't know. Anybody <laughs> want to join me? Anybody want to join me for the Foxtrot? There we because go. I'd like to, yeah. That's funny. So people do okay. want to join you for your movie club. Right. And this Monday, we have Rampage, which is the new Dwayne The Rock Johnson, big blockbuster, you know, pre-summer movie. Monday, April 9th, 7 p.m. The effects look really cool for this one. So if you want to win a pair of reserved seats to join me at that one, Go to my website. Is this his first big one since um, Jumanji? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Rock. Cool. Great job, Ryan. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. And you can like Ryan on Facebook. Follow him on Instagram and Twitter for full movie reviews. Check out his website. It's ryanjreviews.com. Always a blast to see you. Thanks Double you bow tie, too. baby. <laughs> I love it. Looks good.